Okay, number number five. A dentist drill Shh. starts from rest. Shh. It says right here, starts from rest. So that, that told me the initial angular velocity is zero. Okay, so after 3.2 seconds, that's our time. See, I got, I got all the info listed here. After 3.2 seconds of constant acceleration, it turns at a rate of 2.5 times 10 to the fourth. That's 25,100. Uh, revolutions per minute. Uh-oh, check it out. Look, look at, look at, look at. Minutes, seconds. Are those going to work together? No. So what I did is I converted revolutions per minute to revolutions per second. How do you convert revolutions per minute to revolutions per second? Divide by 60, right? Divide by 60, and you'll have it in revolutions per second. Okay, so what else? Uh, that's it. Find the drill's angular acceleration. So now you could just use you could just use the definition for angular acceleration. It's change of angular velocity over time. So what's the change in the velocity? 418.3 revolutions per second, and that took place over 3.2 seconds. So that gives an angular acceleration of, let's see, 418.3 divided, oops, 418.3 divided by 3.2, uh, about 130.7 revolutions per second squared. Okay, determine the angle in radians. Uh-oh, in radians, don't panic. Hey, hey, don't panic we're in currently we're in revolutions Shh. we're in revolutions so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it in revolutions and then and once we get to the end we can easily convert to radians no big just keep everything in revolutions till the end so how many revolutions does this make well let's see we could do theta equals one half alpha t squared plus so this is the first kinematic does that look familiar okay so the initial angular velocity was zero so theta is going to be one half our angular velocity or sorry our angular acceleration is 130.7 revolutions per second squared time is 3.2 seconds squared so you punch this in times 130.7 and we get 669 669 revolutions now to put that into radians because they want radians you go 669 revolutions <coughs> one revolution is two pi radians so this will give us the answer in radians which is 4,205, 4,205 radians, which is the same as 669 revolutions. All right.